December 27th to p.m. right in Cola offices. Welcome to Easy Daddy! What was Mr. Edgeworth talking about? memory of a crime that I committed. Why are we, we literally just saw this? <laughs> what was the last day? episode? No, it was the last episode. It's conceivably taken an entire day or more off. You know. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm talking about in the game. Uh. That's what I'm talking about. They have a chapter break, which indicates that you're supposed to take a break from the game. Uh, yeah, but who does it? A memory of murder. Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he'd never taken someone's life. Never! Nick! Yo! How did we do it? What you think about before with you today? I am swooping the aisles of my, uh... Swooping? Me? Oh, yes. I do remember feeling faint. Right on. Tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? Right, Nick? Uh, me? Uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a beat or two. What? <laughs> I think you can do better than that. Come on! I saved that dwarf in that duology! You guys are empowering me! Battle for the hero! Larry, you really helped out in the trial today. You did! If you weren't there, Larry, Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty! <laughs> Seriously, Nick. That book truck can't take a piece of suspicious. That you ain't off the hook yet. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know. Where I was sitting, I just need to play the edgy. I mean, you really know he told the truth about that night? Nick! I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to believe in you two until the end! Us two? Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? No, he means me, right, Nick? <laughs> it, yeah. Mitzi. 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 See, there's an angry cat in Phoenix Wright's office that they call Mitzi. <laughs> She's just whining because the last time she does when he gets hurt, she gets her food. She hasn't gotten her food yet. Yeah. Oh. Bonk, oh bonk, is she bonk, trying? Bonk, bonk. She's weirdo. Yeah! You, Larry! Not me. But why are you, Larry? <laughs> Oh, um, actually, uh, what do you mean, Nick? It's kind of weird. Enough 
for the silent treatment. Nick! Why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? I mean, he's changed recently, true. But when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? You told... You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to be a defense attorney. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Yes. A great school. They saved me. Miles. Larry. They saved me and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know? Okay! It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. It was the very year end of third grade. I was on trial. A, a class trial. Why didn't they give me the option to say no to answering this question? <laughs> a class trial? I know Phoenix Wright's backstory. Do I? You remember Larry Spring, end of third grade. The kid in our class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? Our stool was really small. Every month, kids would bring in an envelope with money for lunch from home. Oh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared with $38 still inside. Oh yeah! Now you reach it, I do remember that. I can see what you'd forget though. You were out of stool that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during PE class. I was coming down with a cold, so I skipped PE class that day. I was the only one not in PE class that day. <laughs> so, they thought you did it? Yeah, the kids in PE class. <laughs> they put on trial. <laughs> trial? So the next day, we had held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. I, I didn't do it! Give your money back! You're such a meanie! No one played with him! Just admit you did it! You can't hide the truth! Tell us the truth! We're not gonna play with you anymore! Yeah, no buy my eraser! You shouldn't be allowed to leave the race! Or the library committee! Give me back the 50 cents I loaned you! Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's <laughs> money. It's not right. <laughs> the teacher was hit the judge. Yeah. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. I... Over and apologize, Phoenix. <laughs> I, I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad, I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. I tried to apologize. I went to where the boy whose money had been stolen was sitting. That's when it happened. He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in our trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. Was Edgeworth the Southern when he was little? <laughs> yeah. Texas. When he spent time with Von Karma, he beat that out of him. <laughs> you should all be ashamed! Amateurs! Miles?
It wasn't you. Stole my money. Was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. But, Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, he did. He said, well, we don't need proof. Make him say sorry. Why don't you all just shut up? <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <no>. <laughs> 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 he was a freak when he was a kid. This is how dumb it is. I was kicking up and picking up one person. Also, his voice has never changed. <laughs> Hell, he's born like that. <laughs> just how, just think how he feels. Uh, he said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. I got a band on my knee. Very bad. Wait, the teacher's a woman. The judge just wrapped the mini skirt. No, that, that was just his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I will replace the money myself. The guy in the green shirt is the judge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> this class trial is this really so short. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's still that short. <laughs> He's just behind the desk. You can't tell. Oh boy. <laughs> he never sits down. He just stands up. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's how it happened. After that, the three of us were the best of friends. Wow. I had no idea. I had no idea either. I, mean, I forgot. That's when I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone, without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. Um, yeah, well... I just know you I took a day off from school. If I'd been there, they would've thought I'd done it. So I took it kind of personally, see? When something smells, it's usually the butts. Anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after the... Oh, did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm really a psychic. <laughs> anyway, uh, Edgeworth and I talked after the, that class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes w would shine when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my father. Yeehaw! <laughs> Are we sure his mother is a lot of heart? <laughs> this is his younger sister. A famous defense attorney. <laughs> then, a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another stool. The DL6 incident. Right. Not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad. It was several years later when I heard Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was like was something like uh Dark suspicions of a demon attorney. Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Why? What happened to me the time I used to know? That's what I thought too. I tried to get in touch with him, I don't know how many times. He never replied. I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. I could have just dropped it though. 
I wanted to meet him, to learn why he had become and who he had become. That's when I decided. I was defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether I, he wanted to or not. In court! Edgeworth believed in me, and I believe in him. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Whoa, Nick! So, that why you have me out of me? Uh, yes. I helped you because I believed in you. Except I don't remember it saying I'd do it for free. Oh, Nick! 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 <laughs> we have to save Mr. Edward. It sounds like he died in Metal Gear. <laughs> Right. Very well, maybe. First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find who or what he is. And settle for who? I guess I can clean out some of the this evidence I no longer need. Okay, let's go. All of his testimony. And that one master picture. Yeah, picture thing. Yeah. It's overhead, man. Mm -hmm. Chloe, Chloe wouldn't need that uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a strip size of them, so. Yeah. I don't think you're even allowed to just get rid of evidence. Well, I mean, the game doesn't want you having a whole ton of evidence to have to choose from. <laughs> but it's really hard to choose. Hey, pal! No, uh, long not time no see? <laughs> no see long time. No see long time? It's like his catchphrase now. Oh! Detective Gumshoe! Uh, close one today, huh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Uh, sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, now we know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now, I'm off to catch me a criminal. Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, one other thing. Ah! No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where a lot of us camping? The woods are off limit to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess Lana's in a lot of trouble! <laughs> anyway, I'll be seeing you two tomorrow. Why didn't the type of joke you laugh? He's offended. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. It's like the hot dog stand is closed today. <laughs> Just ignored her. I guess Larry's too busy worrying about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. We were just talking to him. That's why he's not here. He doesn't have a license. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. 
<laughs> I'd know that clearing of the throat anywhere. Uh -huh. Hello. What might you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Mr. Grossberg. This is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edward's trial ends tomorrow! Er, that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edwards should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Ho oh, oh. ho! What do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Thanks. Bye. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? <laughs> Nobody is home. Hello! Hello! Ah! Hey! It's Polly! Wonder where your owner's gone, Polly? Hello! Hello! Ah! I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello! Hello! Ah! Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyway. I'm sure they'll do something. Okay. Sorry, Polly. He hates you. <laughs> Great. Now the bird's gonna hate me, too. <laughs> that reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. What's the number to the safe? 1228. Ah! Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure this isn't any money in there. Oh, but hey, he keeps it locked, right? So there must be something in there of value. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick, let's see what's in there. Just there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. <laughs> when Nate played Phoenix, there sounds like he thought there was like gonna be a big dirty diaper <laughs> inside. <laughs> a letter. Well, they're breaking the law right now. <laughs> oh, boring. Their enemy forges evidence. They have to break the law. <laughs> There's no name or signature on this. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth? Nick! Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on there? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. In ten easy steps. <laughs> it also says, this is your this is your last chance. Now is the time to get your revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling out, calling Edgeworth out to the lake. Getting... Calling out Edgeworth all over Twitter. <laughs> did he? Did he on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out in court today. 
It's all in here. In perfect detail. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know. But it looks like they're... These are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond, called out Edgeworth. <laughs> he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue! You look grim as always. Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You, you don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it, in third grade? Lunch money? Oh, oh, right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick? I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? The trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Ridiculous! Gee, thanks! That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you do. Wahaha! <laughs> You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple, to a fault even. Well, maybe, yeah, I don't but I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Perhaps. Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in the shack where the boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Revenge? On me? Who is that old guy anyway? I... I don't know. Could he be an innocent defendant? You got declared guilty or something? Nice, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he was following this letter then? Which means that there was someone else behind it. Two men. <laughs> Meeting myself and Robert Hammond. It also says... This is your last chance! Uh, last chance? Wait, maybe... Maybe he's talking about the Statue of Limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait. That old man. What is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi Bear? No. The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Wait, can I show him a picture of his dead dad? <laughs> Why did you do that? Nick, <laughs> no! That's a photo of his dead dad! Don't show that to him! You're right. Now probably isn't a good time to dredge up those <laughs> memories. I should wait till his birthday. <laughs> what? What? What are you two talking about? Um, uh, nothing. Huh?
Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in the elevator 15 years ago. Why does every courtroom look identical? The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long it felt like forever. The air thinned and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Who? Got a voice, Yanni Yogi. Oh. Wait, who's Yanni Yogi? No, that was screaming scary. guy right there. Okay. Help! I can't breathe! <laughs> oh. My old Ezra's dead. <clears throat> quiet! I said quiet! <laughs> You're not making this any easier. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> it's just Edgeworth. Who's saying this? Miles? You. Oh, I want to get out. Help, please. Get me out of here. Don't shout. You'll just use <laughs> up more oxygen. <laughs> His voice is transforming. <laughs> My father's voice was transforming. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. Turns out Yanni Yogi also worked for the news. <laughs> in court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court, and Yogi was found innocent. Huh, but isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take our revenge on you? Ugh. Right. Yeah? There's... Something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. Saying the exact same thing. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory. Of a murder. I try to say murder more dramatically each time. I think. I think the time has come to tell all. For the last 15 years, I've had almost the same dream every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet, I said. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to get out. Help! Get us out, please! Don't shout. <laughs> You'll just use up more oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird nightmare. <laughs> Everyone's voice is different. I can't breathe, you. You are using up all of my air. What? what? Stop breathing my air. I'll stop you. Uh, what? What are you? The upper, you think my hair? No, father. <laughs> what is he? Stop. He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol lying at my feet. 
I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In a daze, I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! What? And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for 15 years. But, that's just a dream, right? Right? The thoughts is the only thing that has kept me sane for 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories and self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? If you think about it this way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth! You, you mean? It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I, I don't know. I don't know if there is anything we can do. Like it or not. If there's someone else... Who knows a lot about DL Citizens, then maybe. There is, Nick! There is someone else who knows about DL6. Sorry. I'm not sure I can help you with that. Can I, can I give him the picture of that dad now? <laughs> No, Nick, I said no! <laughs> Oops, no, oh, I thought I'd present it again. <laughs> you just stared at me. Phoenix just keeps looking at me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>